this morning I'm going to be targeting the grey squirrel. I'm going to get myself into the hide and we're going to see how many I can get this morning. I'm fully set up now in my hide. It's still pitch black just outside. We're going to wait for the light to come in and then we should start seeing our first visitors of the morning. And it doesn't take long before we see our first visitor. It is very low light. I've got night vision on the camcorder. And the daylight setting on the Zulis is just struggling just that little bit. But the footage is going to improve as more light comes into the woodland. With our first squirrel down, it doesn't take long before a second visitor comes along for its morning dose of peanuts and lead. And with another squirrel taken down, it doesn't seem like this squirrel was willing to take the risk. And it very smartly made its getaway. With the winter daylight now nicely flooding into the woodland, I can now clearly see squirrels coming into the feeder. And with three down in quick succession, I'm really happy with how the morning's going. So I'm expecting more. And it sounds like another squirrel is not happy with me taking the third one of the morning. But moving swiftly on probably about 30 minutes and another squirrel has come in with a tail wagon it can see bodies on the floor it's a little bit agitated and this one took five minutes that i've had to speed it up quite a lot but we do finally get it onto the feeder but it is still taking its time so once again i've had to speed this clip up a little bit but it finally looks like it's going to settle. Ready for me to take a shot. And that's another one down. That's four down so far. And I seem to like the black reticle on the Zulus. You can choose whatever colour you want, but that's just my preferred one when I'm shooting squirrels. I've noticed this squirrel was just sitting in a tree for a little while. A little bit of time has passed and it looks as if it's now coming in.
it is having quite a good look at the dead bodies on the floor. I have noticed that with some of the previous squirrels this morning that they are getting a little bit nervous when they see all these other squirrels lying on their backs. But will it be enough to put this squirrel off? Well, it doesn't seem like it because it set itself up nicely on top of the feeder. And this one gets a nice, solid, centered head punch. It's been quite a fast morning, and seeing as quite a few of the squirrels are now becoming a little bit nervous, I've now decided now is a good time to go and collect those five, and then get myself back into the hide to try and get a few more. And now that we're back into the hide, it didn't take long at all for another squirrel to come in. This time coming vertically from down the tree, coming straight to the hide. No more bodies on the floor. No need to be worried or agitated. So let's just hope that this squirrel is going to come in and set itself up nicely. And it's another clinical headshot. So the kit that I'm using today is the Air Arms S510 and 177 sub 12. I have an Arkan Zulis on top. I'm using a Manbilly saddle clamp and the pellets that I'm using are BSA Gold Star 8.64 grain. I've left all the information in the video description. If you are interested in this type of clamp, I urge you to stay away from the 3D printed ones. They're just not worth it. Spend that tiny touch more and you can get something like this, which is a full aluminium construction. You have a nice handle there. Simply lift on and off. Simple as that. Once again, time has moved on. We have six down in total. This squirrel looks a bit more promising. It doesn't seem as agitated. So I am quite confident that this one is gonna pick up a peanut and settle for me to take a shot. We currently have two squirrels dead on the deck and this one seems to be sitting in the tree not committing to the feeder so I make a decision for it And that landing is certainly going to give any squirrel a headache. And just as I was about to get ready to leave, I saw a little bit of movement and we have our first squirrel coming in from the right hand side. 
This one's gone straight up and it's perfect for me to finish on. This morning turned out to be quite surprising, usually it's quite quiet this feeder, but I've had a good morning, I quickly tidied up those four and that's where I'll head off. That's another squirrel session that's come to an end, I managed to bag these nine using my Air Arms S510 and also using BSA Gold Star 8.64 grain pellets. First time using these pellets because for some reason my Air Arms don't like using Air Arms pellets anymore and it's now decided it prefers the BSA pellets. It is what it is, I can't choose what food it likes, it just happens to like these. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, I had a really good morning, really enjoyed it. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you check out this video here, and I shall see you on the next one. Cheers for watching.